come back so guys till now we have completed that laravel front end part which is about setting the and uh, setting up navbar and how it works with the extension and everything right so guys as we have gone through this template which was this template design with the md bootstrap you can see over here so we'll just take all these things and we will use this in our website so this is a simple slider they are given over here and then the product designs right so we'll just copy these products and then use it in our front end to show over here okay so let us just copy it so let me scroll it over here i'll just make it simple simple short short things so this was the navbar over here started and navbar ending part okay so if you're getting confused from where this is coming actually it is coming from here okay so you can just go to free downloads and you can search with this e-commerce template so guys now navbar is set and I, this is the carousel which is over here right so i'll just take this carousel and where is the ending of the carousel first slide second slide and third slide so this is the slider end so right click copy and get back to your dashboard and include in your folder okay so like i'll just create one new folder called slider not with the capital please make it small so let's enter the slider and inside that i'm going to create one page called slider.blade.php and paste that slider total that's it copy and paste this so do, do not touch anything just ignore that if you want to change the image please change it over here this is the i mean this is the image where you are going to upload and go to your index file i mean to say the main file which you are executing over here in this file you have to call that your slider so i'm just going to include over here so call include function so include method where inside views folder so this is views so inside views folder we are calling front end dot then slider folder dot and the file name called slider that's it save and execute this let's run control r or reload this page you can see some sliders okay not visible so let's just check it out once again so let me go to this page slider where we are getting this some um, okay not setting up okay not a problem we'll just go with this thing so let's search for carousel or carousel can just take with this simple one or else you can take with this navigation thing right so you can just copy this any one of it or else you can move it many sliders are available over here with this dots also so we'll just copy this one copy and go back and just remove everything from your slider folder file and paste this new one that's it and in call into your index file over here save it and let's run once again and see the file is executed or not let me load the page okay it's loading so once it's loaded it's coming so perfect guys you can just replace your image and everything is set so here guys now you can just move on with this slider things right where it is inside your slider these images are coming from some links okay so you just need to replace with your image right so for now i am just leaving this and later on we will update with this to work with the back end one how to set a slider for this 
so let us save this and let's get back and check hello it's working or not okay it's working fine and now we will get back to uh, the same template and we'll copy this products so as we copy over here so this is the main layout right so we have to ignore main because we have already included that so we just need to start with the container so start with the container and we don't need this nav things like i don't need this nav bar so we'll just start we'll just leave this container we'll type it over there and start with this section cool so let's call this section and ending of the section okay we don't need much also so we'll just okay simple let me type it i'll just copy this grid and a column grid that's it copy and let me call section container container row or o w row and then a grid column so this is your column very simple column do not get confused anything in this a simple way save it and execute this let's see it how it's working so it's shown perfect over here everything is looking cool guys now same thing we will do with that from the front end okay so in section i'm going to use some py4 padding to just give gap between that py4 or you can use py5 okay so everything is set now we can just loop this or else you can call from the back end and call this full section one right so we have completed this with the setup of the slider and the simple card product design view so we'll just loop it once again like i'll just make it clear what we need to use a not just need to take this and paste it above this a tag because once we click on the image it should get somewhere redirected to just need in later we will add this and this is the container this is a set where you are clicking on a shirt demon strong and that's it simple way to display the price now i'll just remove the unwanted contents things okay set up that's it do not get confused with this column md four no three we will call this also remove this call six mobile version six will call or then bottom remove or then top will give three this is your column right now you can use for loop to loop it to check dollar i is equal to one dollar i is greater or equal to mm, four dollar i plus plus and four okay so four times it is loop right so we will just need from the database so for that we will see in next video that i mean set up the admin dashboard panel okay so this is just a setup of front end where you'll be changing everything in further tutorials so guys now we will continue with this admin dashboard so guys please watch out the next video in this playlist so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share